each company received an invitation from Raw, Arkansas, or Jerome, Arkansas. And we had no idea that Roa, Arkansas, or Jerome, Arkansas, were the locations of these camps. We just assumed that they were two communities, small in size, uh, that had some Japanese living there. And they were inviting us to spend a weekend of dining on Japanese food and meeting Japanese and feeling a little more comfortable at home. I remember that morning, all of us got up early in the morning, 10 of us in the company. We were the elite and the others were jealous. And we scrubbed and everything and put on aftershave lotion to smell nice and put on our cleanest clothes. Some took along the ukuleles, some the guitars to serenade the women, I suppose. And it was a happy journey in these two and a half ton trucks from Mississippi to Arkansas. And I remember the trip from Mississippi to Arkansas was a nonstop, joyful singing trip, at least on my truck. Uh, the men were just singing away all kinds of songs, uh, obviously looking forward to a grand evening, until we turned the bend and we looked down the valley and we saw a large formation of barracks lined up like military barracks and we assumed it was a military base. Well, this one had barbed wires all around with machine gun towers on the corners. And so we thought, well, we're passing a military base of some secrecy but then the trucks turned in. And when they turned in, we could see inside and you could see men and women who looked like us. And the men and women with, men who with bayoneted rifles standing by were not Japanese. They're all white Americans. And the machine gun handlers were all white Americans. And uh, it didn't take long to realize what this was. And suddenly, everything changed, the mood changed. We were asked to get off, we got off, lined up, walked in. We did our best to appear as though we were enjoying ourselves because we realized that they had set aside a lot of food. In fact, they opened up their barracks so that we could spend the night there and they said, no, we'll sleep in the mess hall and or in the trucks. But it was an occasion that one could never forget. It was permanently imprinted in you.